I think I found my happy place. <laughs> yes, we're on. It is hot today. Yeah, okay guys, so back out here in Yurunga, and man, it is an absolute cracker of a day. The only thing I could have asked for better weather for this weekend is uh, barely a cloud in the sky, just a slight breath of wind, and we're paddling down one of Australia's most beautiful gorges. Like, it is absolutely stunning. I haven't been here for about two years. Almost forgot how bloody nice it is. <laughs> so we're just gonna paddle about, um, yeah, 15 k's up river, and we'll find a nice little spot to stop camp for tonight. Trying to do a bit of fishing. Um, haven't really done a whole lot of bass fishing this season, um, but keen to try and chuck a few lures and see if we can catch one. Although I never have a whole lot of yeah, luck with the bass fishing up this section of the river, so we'll see how we go. Look, even if you don't catch anything, it is still a stunning place to go for a paddle. So yeah, it's gonna be a good one. I'm very keen to get in the water though. It is, I think it's about 30 degrees right now. So yeah, pretty hot. And I'm that keen for a swim. so nice to get back out and paddle this section of the river. Honestly, like, almost forgot how bloody gorgeous it is. Such an impressive landscape. Like, I have to kind of take my sunnies off just to make sure it's, like, real. <laughs> it's one of those places, though. just started to pick up and it's coming from the south which is a headwind and I swear the weather report says there's going to be a northerly wind all day so I'm not quite sure what it's doing so this changed over to yeah this double bladed paddle to try and yeah, smash out a few k's because it's after lunch time and yeah I've just been taking my sweet time and yeah, sort of filming everything so I need to try and get some k's um, yeah, behind me oh no so my GoPro like I've still got my GoPro but the clamp here it has this like sort of chain link um, tripod thing. Anyway, it was, it was on the side here. I went to adjust it and somehow it came out of that and broke off this and sunk to the bottom of the lake, which I'm spewing about. So that's how I get all my cool shots around the canoe. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna, gonna be able to do. Like I think I can take, so I can connect that to that. So it's not the end of the world, it just means Oh, actually, no, yes it is. Damn it, because you now when I clamp it under that, I can't turn the GoPro. Spewing. Well, there goes all my cool shots. I'm just going to have to try and make do with this. I've also got a chest mount, so at least I can uh, yeah, attach it to my chest if I need to. Ah, it's beyond. Alright, so I've just pulled up on a beach I've camped out a few times before. And I swear every time I come back to this spot, it changes. Like last time I was here, I swear this was just a big sandy beach. Now look at it. But yeah, it's a really nice spot. You've got a, quite a big clear area, put some hammocks and some tents. You've got a fire pit as well. And if you look at the view down the river, how nice is that? Yeah, a really nice spot. But like I said, I've camped here a couple of times already. So 
I'm not going to camp here tonight. Um, I'll have some lunch and we'll start making our way back down the river and yeah, find a camp down there. Oh, not a bad little spot for lunch. And so for lunch today, I've got one of these uh, my tuna and rice things. Actually pretty tasty. A very nice, quick and easy lunch. So nice out in the water today. I swear there's no one here. I haven't seen like, I saw one person at the put-in, but I'm not quite sure what direction they went. But um, yeah, I haven't seen anyone else on the ward today. So it feels like I got the whole place to myself. It is a Friday. So I dare say tomorrow there'll be a few people around. But for the moment, it is pretty bloody nice. And it is so peaceful, that wind has died right off. So yeah, I think it's about um, quarter to three, and we've got about five or six k's to go. So yeah, let's go back out there. I'm so glad that wind has died off. It is gorgeous. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe how nice today is. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's just not a soul around. I think we're getting pretty close to our destination, which is good because I think it's about 4.30. I'm getting pretty tired and I'm very hot and sweaty, so I'm not keen for a swim. Oh, saw some big carp down there, massive carp. So we've just reached where the last rapid is on this river, where it meets up with the lake. So let's try and paddle our way through it. Oh, come on. Yes, come on. There we go. Alright, so I've just pulled the canoe off this little beach just here. And this is a spot that I had marked my maps. And it's a pretty nice spot. You've got a really nice outlook looking down the river. We're right next to these uh, little rapids here, so who knows? There might even be some fish, like maybe even some trout hiding around here. Now you've also got a nice little sandy beach, and there's also some trees where I can string up the hammock. So, look, it's a pretty good option. It's about 5.30 now too, so I'm pretty keen to yeah, pull up stumps. I'm so keen to get in that water, like I'm very hot and sticky, so. Look, I think this might do. My only concern was just the noise of the rapids, whether that's just gonna be annoying um, for the audio for you guys. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys find that is annoying, then in future I'll make sure I sort of camp a bit further away from the rapids. But being here in person, it sounds bloody gorgeous for want to sleep next to the rapids. So yeah, I think it's might do.
Uh, so just chucked up the hammock in the tarp in between the trees here and it's quite a nice little cozy campsite next to the rapids. Although I did see a pretty decent sized snake in there amongst the boulders so hopefully he keeps his distance and I'll keep mine. Some of you guys probably know, so I got a new backpack. So this is by Hyperlite Mountain Gear, and I believe the model is the Southwest 3400. Now, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% certain, so I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. I'll put a link in the description below as well, so you guys can check it out. But yeah, it's a 55 liter ultralight backpack. Comes in at about 900 grams, so yeah, nice and lightweight. Um, so the reason I got this is mainly for pack rafting trips and also just uh, sort of lightweight hiking trips where I just want to strip my kit right down. Like I'm still going to be using my Fjordhaven pack because I actually really like traditional backpacks. I like the fact that they have extra pockets on a traditional backpack. So I'm definitely still going to use the Fjordhaven one. Um, but for those yeah, trips where I just really want to get like my weight right down, I'll um, yeah, bring this one out. So you can see how it goes. This is the first time bringing it out on a trip. I bought it on this one because this material is actually waterproof. So you always get water in the back of the canoe. So the fact that this is waterproof means it keeps all my stuff inside dry, which is good. So yeah, you can see how it goes. All right, so I'm have a quick fish, and I'm thinking for the lure, I might use one of these, one of these spinners, because there might be trout hiding amongst these eddies. I'm not quite sure, so we'll chuck one of these out and see if we can find any. fish. That's all we need. Just had a bite. Decent bite too. Got off though. Far out. What an afternoon. That is as pretty as a picture. You gotta love this time of day out in the water. Especially when there's like not a breath of wind. It's died right off. The sun lighting up the cliffs. There's so many live birds as well on the banks. Like, there must be dozens. Very nice spot. Although the fish are not cooperating. I've had one bite. Let's be honest, I probably could have landed that, but I was mucking around trying to turn the camera on. And I think I um, yeah, had some slack in the line when you got off. Right, no luck with the fishing. Let's go back and get some food going. And how's that for a backdrop? Bloody hell. The sunsets in this gorge are insane. But uh, gin and tonic time. And for tonight, we've got something pretty special. So this is by Wolf Lane Distillery. And this is a Davison Plum Gin. And this stuff is absolutely delicious. Oh, I had this at a restaurant like maybe about two years ago and I couldn't come across it in any bottle shops. And then the other day I came across it in like the most random little bottle shop in a small town and they had this and I was like, you beauty. It's absolutely delicious. Oh, honestly, if you guys like your gin, try this. Because, um, yeah, also, for those who don't know, Davison Plum, that's actually a bush tucker plant that grows up in, like, Queensland. Um, it's like yeah, a plum that grows on this, like, kind of small tree. And, yeah, absolutely delicious. Oh, I've actually still got some ice. How good is that? Well, cheers guys. Oh. Honestly, just like the grin on my face right now, that is insane. 
An epic drink in a bloody epic location. Cannot beat that. Hey, how good is this? I think I found my happy place. <laughs> it's honestly like little moments like this that remind me why I absolutely love doing this stuff. And it's funny because last night I was so stressed about um, this weekend's trip. Like I was meant to go somewhere different, but that didn't quite work out. So last night I was trying to figure out where to go and I was getting all stressed about it. And I was thinking, bugger it, I won't go away this weekend, I'll just stay home. But the last minute I decided, no, get out there, mate, come to this spot. And man, has it paid off, eh? I am so stoked. <laughs> oh, so good. Absolutely love this stuff. Absolutely love it. All right, so I'm not gonna have a proper fire just because it's getting quite late. So I figured I might just use a firebox nano stove. We'll just cook up on that. So just got a little cotton makeup pad that's dipped in wax. And just light this to get the fire going. Oh, ouch. <laughs> So it's got a new little titanium fry pan. This one's by Alton, so yeah, can to see how it goes. Gonna make a mushroom sauce, just got some garlic and some butter. And just add some mushrooms. Then just gonna add some of this thickened cream. Just from the side, it's got a store-bought potato salad. It's nothing too special, but it should be tasty. And what's the time? It's probably so late. Well, it's 10 to nine. <laughs> Once again, I'm eating in the dark. I swear daylight savings throws me out, eh? I'm always like cooking so late. Now, this isn't the most colorful or exciting thing I've ever cooked out in the bush, but it still looks pretty damn tasty. Oh man, those mushrooms are amazing. Wow. Look, even the store-bought potato salad goes pretty good. So yeah, have a way cold tonight, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. Wow, far out. I don't think I've ever seen so many bugs underneath the tarp. That is insane. They're not mosquitoes, they don't seem to bite, but bloody hell, they are absolutely everywhere. I am so glad I brought the bug net with me. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning.
man, that is so cool. It's just a little dinosaur walking along the beach. Oh, I absolutely love goannas, eh? They're like one of my favourite animals, hands down. And it's so cool just seeing him like walk on this beach with the big mountains in the background. Kind of got me thinking like how like this is just his everyday life. Like he's just out here just wandering these banks, looking for food, getting water. Whereas for us, we have to like escape modern society to come out to these places to experience it for like a day or two. Whereas he is just out here every day just doing his thing. Hey, he's living the dream. Well, almost forgot to show you guys my new knife. So this is from Core Knife and Tool. And I believe he calls this one the Bush Ranger, which is smaller than my other knife, which is the Bushman, which comes to about here. So this is just a, a nice small knife, which is good for like those hiking trips where you want to carry a good quality knife, but you don't want the weight or the size of a larger knife. And it's just made from spalted sassafras timber, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the, yeah, the color in it. And the, just these black liners here. And it's yeah, a really beautiful little knife. And then just with the sheath, like his leather work is absolutely amazing. Like you cannot fold it. Honestly, <laughs> it's such a good quality work. And then just a, a nice little ferro rod. So yeah, if you guys are in the market for a good quality knife, then um, yeah, definitely check out Core Knife and Tool. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. We're trying to do a little bit more fishing today because yeah, like I was saying yesterday, I didn't really focus on that. I was just trying to get to the camp. So, down the way back, we'll hopefully try and catch a couple. Fingers crossed. Oh, yes. Wait. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I thought it was a fish and snagged. Oh, you're kidding. So I just jumped in the water to try and get the lure because I thought it was snagged on a, a log. But look what we got. A tiny little bass. I thought it was a fish. He must have grabbed it and went, went underneath the log and got stuck. He's probably the smallest bass I've ever caught. <laughs> Mate, he's adorable. Look at him. Right, let him go. Hey, buddy. Yes, we're on. We're on. There we go. Well, we got a nice little bass. Let him go. Well, a little bit better than the last one. So hopefully they just keep getting bigger. <laughs> it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. There is not a breath of wind, eh? Which is nice for paddling, but <laughs> it makes it pretty bloody hot in the canoe. We've got a little, little run coming up here. This will be the first time I've ever sort of run a river in a canoe, so hopefully you go all right. <laughs> hopefully we don't capsize. Yes, we're on. Nice. I 
I think it's a nice bass. Yeah, very nice one. Oh, wow. There are two monster carp down there. Gosh, there's so many carp in this river. I can see about five underneath me. Oh, that is a beautiful bass. Let's just get away from this rock. Very nice bass. Gosh, the colors in him are absolutely beautiful. Really like dark greens, yellows. There's even some like blue in there. Beautiful fish. I'll let him go. That was a really nice one. Yes. Yep, we're on. This is a small one. There you go. Nice little one. She is a warm one. It's a pretty decent paddle as well and doing it in this heat definitely takes it out of you. I'm getting pretty close to the takeout spot so I think on that note it's probably about time we wrap this little adventure up. It's been such a, a fun overnight. I like what a stunning place to go for a paddle. And a really nice little campsite last night and yeah it's good to look into a few bass this morning as well. So all in all I think a pretty successful trip. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out my other stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It always helps out the channel. And also, if you guys want to um, yeah, support the channel, feel free to check out my Patreon link in the description below because making one of these uh, videos <laughs> requires a hell of a lot of work. Um, so, yeah, your support through the Patreon um, yeah, really does um, help me to get out here and make more content for you guys. So, yeah, hope you guys have a good one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peru.